Hey, it's me. Hope you are doing great. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how you can create a door-shaped holiday card using dies and stamps from Paper Discovery brand new Christmas release. There are lots of coordinating products in this collection, and I'll be showing you how to use some of them. So let's get started. To create my front door dressed up for Christmas, I'm going to use this uh, new die set that is called Elegant Door Card Builder Set. You can place this door on an A5 size card or you can use the largest die from the set to create the card shape. And this is exactly what I'm going for this time. I'm going to use this piece of patterned paper to create the card base. So I'm folding it in half just like that, and then I'm going to use the large arched die to create the card shape. I'm placing the die onto the folded card base so that the left edge hangs off the edge of the card, and this way it's not going to cut through the fold. I'm taping the die down so it's not going to shift and then I'm sending it through the die cutting machine so that the die cuts through both layers of paper at one go. And this is what the card base looks like. It measures 4 inches by 7. Before I start decorating the card front, I'd like to do some stamping on the inside. So I'm going to place uh, the open card base into my stamping tool. And then I'm going to use the stamp set that is also from this release. It's called Elegant Christmas. This one coordinates perfectly with the door die set. So I'm going to use the largest image, that is uh, the entire room decorated for Christmas. Since this design has that uh, sketchy hand-drawn feel, it doesn't really require coloring. So this time I'm going to limit myself to simple stamping, because I don't uh, want to draw too much attention from the card front. But it still looks very nice. There's a door on the outside and a room on the inside. Then I went ahead and did more die cutting. I die cut the bottom part and the top part of the door. The top part also has a matching background. I used the wood grain patterned paper for the door and for that background piece I used a piece of watercolor paper. I would also like to show you that there is an insert die that you can use with the, the door and there are also two embossing folders that perfectly coordinate with these dies. This time I'm going to use this plain door and I think it's great for masculine cards. And this is how you use your die cut with the embossing folder. Since the folder is see-through and it has that pattern on the front side, you can simply align your piece of paper perfectly with the pattern and you can even use um, a tape to hold it down. Then you send it through your die cutting machine just as normal and uh, here is your pattern perfectly aligned with the die cut. Since I used the dark patterned paper, I want my embossing to stand out a bit more. So I'm going to use the sanding tool to kind of scrape off the top printed layer of the paper. I keep the paper in the folder, not taking it out, because this way I'm not going to flatten out the embossed areas. I'm just going gently in circular motions, trying uh, not to rip the paper, and this is how it looks like when I'm finished. I'm also going all around the edges with the dark brown ink to add to that uh, distressed effect. This beautiful die has a bunch of slits in it, and I use them for embossing. 
But since I want to add even more dimension, I'm going to apply Distress Oxide ink, the color is Antique Linen, and I'm using uh, the dye as a stencil. This way you'll be able to see all the beautiful details quite clearly. Then again, I'm going to go all over the edges with Ground Espresso Distress ink to make the top part match the bottom. Now it's time to add the background. You can simply use a piece of white or yellow paper, especially if you are going for a very masculine look. But I'm going to add some stamping, so I'm going to tape down the top piece to the background and I'm going to use it as a guide for stamping. I'll show you what I mean. The Elegant Christmas stamp set has two stamps that you can use to create stained glass for this door. I just have to position this uh, little stamp right into the window, making sure it's lined up. Then I'm closing the door of my stamping tool, apply some ink and stamping it right into the window. And I'll repeat this process for all the little windows here. I'm removing the mask and then I'm going to add some coloring. Since I used the watercolor paper, I'm going to use my uh, Distress uh, markers for coloring. I'm just going to do very simple coloring with no shading and I'm using yellow, red and purple markers. This image is quite small, so make sure your markers have fine tips or if you are using pencils, they should be sharpened. Also, again, because the image is small, I'm not using any gradients or shadings. But at this point, I saw that the yellow looked a bit bright for me, so I took the rusty hinge distress marker, which is kind of dark orange, and I'm simply going all around the outlines on the inside. This is going to mute down the yellow and it will also add some dimension. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go all around the windows with a dark brown marker and I'm also going all around the edges of the die cut. The reason I'm doing this is I don't want any of that white to show through. When I'm finished with the coloring, I simply have to use some liquid glue to attach the top part to the background. And here is my beautiful stained glass window all done. The rest of the process is pretty simple. I just have to attach those both pieces to the card front and I'm using the foam squares for the bottom part and any flat adhesive for the top part. I'm going with the liquid glue. So here is the door ready, I just have to dress it up for Christmas now. I'll be using those dies that are also the part of the set, except this little wreath that is uh, the part of another set called uh, Tag Window Editions die set. I've die cut all the elements out of patterned paper and I'm going over the edges with the brown ink again. Since I'm planning uh, those elements to hang off the edge of the card, I need to make them a little bit more sturdy, so I'm adding a couple more layers at the back. I've die cut them out of uh, dark brown cardstock using the same die. And now I'm ready to assemble the topiaries. I'm sticking down the stem onto the pot and then I'm adding uh, the top. As for the wreath, I also added some layers for more dimension and now I've die cut the wreath one more time out of gold mirror cardstock and I'm only going to use those tiny, tiny beads or circles for inlaying. I'm also going to add the little red bow that is also a part of the set. 
Then I'm going to attach one remaining circle on top of that bow and my wreath is ready to go on a card. The door die set also has some uh, tiny dies that are actually the hardware for the door and you can choose uh, from uh, a few of them. For this project I'm going to use this elong elongated plate. Now I just have to attach all the decorations that I have created onto my card and I'm starting with the wreath. I'm placing it right in the center between those four raised panels here. Then I'm going to attach the topiaries. I'm only applying uh, the glue onto one half of them and I'm sticking them down so that one, e one edge is uh, hanging off the card like that. At this point you can call your card done, you can totally leave it as is, especially if you are living in an area where there is no snow for Christmas. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the snow tax uh, embossing paste to create some snow. I'm applying the paste over the door, over the plants, as well as over the wreath and at the bottom of the card. Of course, the door die set can be used for so much more than Christmas. You can uh, adjust it to any occasions just by uh, placing the seasonal decorations or just adding the corresponding sentiment. So this is what the finished card looks like. It's going to match perfectly into 5x7 envelope. And there is also plenty of room inside to leave your message. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I can't wait to see what you are going to create with this die set.